like him. But I've always told myself, play life as yours alone. So if you want to do something like this, be an artist and make it out, out there, don't care about what people say, just do what you love. And this is what I'm going to do. I do what I love. And that's what I want to know. With each interview I listened, I believed and saw the changes occur within these artists, within myself, and within our culture. I heard them speak about a history that is rarely spoken of, or maybe even forgotten. A history about a melting pot we call South Florida. I realized that we were all fighting for the same cause, that we were all trying to contribute to the bigger picture, that there is so much beneath the tip of our iceberg. This small community of artists have come together now to bring it all back, to tell the world that here we are, all different but united in the name of art. feel about that oh shit I think I don't think I'm sure this is major hmm. so make, yeah. let me do a close-up yeah I was gonna say make sure you do a close-up <laughs> where's my stylist where's my stylist <laughs> wardrobe <laughs> All right, and 
No. I was born in New York, Queens, Elmer's Hospital, 1966, <laughs> March 4th. Okay. That's six foot two, 220 pounds. Say <laughs> go. I'm ready to mango, baby. There yeah, you go, honey. <laughs> All right, now. Wife divorced. <laughs> so that's gay, yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't know, I just. I don't even, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> How do you describe your music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have ADD. That, that also helps when you hear my music, but you can tell that I have a lot of ADD. So, my main man, Kevin's put me on too. So, it's high class. Okay, um, so how will you describe your um, music? <laughs> um, thank God for editing. Cause, yeah, um, oh, don't think of an editor. <laughs> This shit is nice. This is going to be one of the credits are rolling. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know. A lot of flavors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're scaring me. Whatever I can get away with, I'll play. <laughs> I play the guitar, I play the trombone, I play the piano. And once in a while, I play the weed roll. Impressive, and he's mad young. He's actually a chef for a nun. What? For a, yeah, That's for crazy. a church, which is mad creepy. And he doesn't even know how to cook, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I would never get that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's see. <laughs> uh, with me, it started back in 1979. <laughs> 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 she got me trying with my phone and I don't even got a flash. She got the cam for me. You know what I'm saying? Keep that, right? <laughs> it feels like I'm at church. <laughs> and God is the camera. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Ate about seven pounds of bread, <laughs> some olive white oil, bread. White, bread. white bread, white bread, from, white bread from Publix, <laughs> from three sea grapes, some nasty feta cheese. Was the good. hummus was good, yeah, the hummus was good. and the olive oil was outstanding. And all of that was fifteen dollars. <laughs> That's a stupid. Yo. <laughs> what is your definition of art? Anything that makes you think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what I would compare to. I like surrealism. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I had to save myself. Yeah. <laughs> me, well, when I was little, I used to play sports a lot, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play, like I used to do baseball, I used to play football, basketball, everything, but Not I was always... Looks like a ball. I was, yeah. I don't know what happened. You look like play butterball now. Yeah, as you can tell, I wasn't that good at it. So, like, that's one thing, like, even school, I wasn't good 